Who is my favourite coach? Well, it's very hard to pick. It's like picking who's your favourite kid, what's your favourite football team type of thing. But for me, I've got a couple. John Buchanan, and I probably didn't realise it at the time, uh, would be one of my favourites. Uh, I think because he tried to challenge us in different ways. He wasn't the traditional you know, coach where you're working on seam up and hitting through the covers. He was more of the mental skills, uh, man manager type of person. So for that, I have to definitely put him up there. And obviously he had a great side, but good side makes a coach look good, but also a good coach can make a side look good. Um, but for me, tactically, I'd have to go with Trevor Bayliss. Uh, Trevor Bayliss, uh, a former New South Wales cricketer, batsman, one of the best in the field, which a lot of people don't realise about him. He's almost like, um, you know, a version of Ricky Ponning in the field. Great hands in the gully uh, that people don't often see because of, um, you know, he's a bit older than what we are at the moment. But Trevor Bayliss has got great success wherever he's been, whether it's New South Wales, whether it's KKR. And I want to break it down to a few simple things. Trevor Bayliss, his heart rate would not get above 45 beats per minute, period. So when the team's under pressure, gee, we're right. Just go out there, hit the ball, watch the ball. And that's the philosophy of someone like a Trevor Bayliss. Don't get overwhelmed by the situation. Play the ball, don't play the person. The team meetings were short and sweet. Um, a lot of stuff that we did in New South Wales under the guidance of Trevor Bayliss was to do with fielding, being prepared well, being well rested. And I think that's the perfect fall that will make a great coach. So for me, Trevor Bayliss, um, I think there's a good opportunity somewhere down the line that he might get the chance to coach Australia one day. One funny moment with John Buchanan had featured Andrew Simon. So Roy, we were playing warm-ups at the SCG. It was the day before a, a one day, I think it was. And had the touch footy going and Big Buck Buchanan, John Buchanan's about six foot six. He's a big, big bloke. Long legs, long levers. And he'd been stirring up Andrew Simons the whole day. And what Buck used to do was, as you go in and you tip, in, as what they do in touch footy, he'd then do a little punch in the ribs to Andrew Simons or he hit him on the cap. Simo goes, I want to fix him up. And Buck went and run at him. And Simo got him and smashed him, spear tackled him down to the ground, six foot six frame skinny, tall frame, driven into the ground, stretch it off, had to miss the game, had to take two weeks off work because it, I think it did a disc in his back. But um, not great for John Buchanan, but brought a lot of laughter to the team.